Well, one of the most intriguing storylines this basketball season has been the resilience of the West Hancock boys. Now, it's always tough when your senior leadership moves on, but Coach Reno Pinkston and company have found ways to adapt and engineer a solid win-loss record in the process. Now, we learned a lot about this team so far and could learn a whole lot more in the coming days. We lost four seniors last year that were part of our uh, seven-man rotation. So we had a couple of guys that were getting big minutes last year in Paxson and Austin Hardy. Uh, but we had some guys that needed to, to fit in early. And we started out with a 10-1 and record, obviously, uh, playing pretty well. One of the question marks early in the year was who was going to handle the basketball for us from the guard position. And we've done a nice job with Jeremy Ferguson and uh, Austin Hardy and Paxson Harmon being the guys that handle the basketball for us. So um, we had to replace a, a lot of veterans, guys that had two and three years of varsity experience. I thought our guys have done a pretty good job of doing that so far. Reno Pinkston isn't a man easily impressed, particularly when it comes to his own team. So his pride in this Titan squad is telling. A 15 and 6 record including wins over Pittsfield, Macomb and Friday's thrilling comeback against Quincy Notre Dame stands as testament to just how far this squad has come in forging its identity. That identity, however, will be severely tested in this, the most difficult week of the regular season for the Titans. Red Hot Illini West on Tuesday, and then the monster of all monsters, undefeated Missouri powerhouse Salisbury at the KHQA Subway Superfan Shootout on Saturday. Well, it is nice we're playing somebody we haven't played. You know, after you play some tournaments in the area and your regular season schedule, you play people two and three times. Never playing Salisbury, being number one in the state on, on that side of the river, it's going to be a great challenge. They've got some post players that can do a lot of things for them. They've got some length uh, guards. They've got two coaches' sons that play like typical coaches' sons on understanding the game of basketball. So they're willing to shoot the ball. Uh, they, they take turns handling it, bringing it up. But their big guys inside do a lot of good things for them. But uh, when you're going against guards that play old school type of basketball and post players that hit the boards, that's going to be a tough matchup for us. Shootouts are, are really good tune-ups for that kind of regional atmosphere too and I know you guys have been in this shootout you played in front of big crowds before it, it's kind of a different unique fun get you out of your element atmosphere oh and, and on top of that we're playing at Quincy Notre Dame that gym is one of the best gyms in the area to play and a lot of people don't like playing there but everybody that knows me knows that I like to pit I like the atmosphere it's the closest to a college atmosphere that you're going to play in uh, and to be playing somebody besides Quincy Notre Dame in there is kind of fun. You know, playing against them there, is, it's, a, it's a snake pit for you when you come in against those boys. But uh, going against a on a neutral court at uh, QND against the Salisbury number one team in the state, that's going to be a lot of fun. Keys to being successful against a team like Salisbury, who I know offers a lot of different challenges as you already hit on. Yeah, they, they, they do a nice job of mixing up their defenses. They play some zone and man. Uh, but their big guys inside do a good job in that zone of contesting baseline shots, and, and they're there to rebound for them. So, and offensively, they distribute the wealth really well. So they're number one for a reason. They're undefeated, and uh, it's going to be a really tough matchup. Definitely looking forward to the shootout coming up this weekend. We'll go ahead and take you to Menden tonight, Fort Madison and Unity. The Mustangs trying to snap a two-game losing streak. Let's go first half. Big half for Thomas Donnelly. He was everywhere there on the assist from Andrew Doyle, but the Bloodhounds answer. Here's a shot we don't see enough of. A finger roll. Very nice there from Jonathan Tomenic. and that's uh, something I'd like to see a little bit more of. We'll see if we can get some more of those highlights later on in the season. Unity able to build a double-digit first-half lead. They get the swing to Alex Blickhan here. They did lead 34-24 to at the half, and Fort Madison pretty much trails by that total throughout the second half as Unity wins this one 67-56 to at home. Let's go Brashear and Knox County boys as uh, this was a pretty good back-and-forth game to start. Brashear is going to go with Joseph Woods. He opens the scoring with a nice drive for two there. Then the big man inside, Joe Clarkson, using the body to extend that lead in the paint for the Tigers. Very well done in the post. More Joseph Woods as Brashear jumps out to an early 11-2 lead. But Knox County, they're going to fight back a little bit. Leighton McCabe, he's going to start the turnaround with a steal and a layup. And then it's more McCabe from the wing here in just a moment with the baseline floater. Very nice touch. Knox County would go on to win this game 60-41 to at home. And the same matchup for the girls. It was pink night for Knox County and Brashear. So you know the teams are fired up for this great cause. We'll start off with Knox County's Kathleen Hinkle in the paint and beats some traffic. Gravity's on her side. She gets to fall on the right side of the iron there. 
Then it's Kelsey Kahalen all the way coast to coast with the easy layup. Brashear would come back with five foot sophomore Nikki Moncrief. She's going to snipe in the two right here from the baseline, but Knox County gets out front early and wins this one over Brashear 69 to 31. Real quick, want to pass along some scores to you. Davis County beats Clark County 64 61, and we'll get more of those scores online tonight as Hannibal falls to Boonville 58 48, and of course, those online later tonight. Raja? All right, we'll be right back.